The Keystone Pipeline bill has now passed the House and the Senate. And though it passed with bipartisan support, only nine Democrats supported the bill. Valley News Live Washington correspondent Alex Miller talked to some of these Democrats about how they felt crossing party lines. The Keystone Pipeline bill has been supported by Republicans for years, but in the last session of Congress, they were in the minority, unable to garner the Democratic votes needed to pass the bill. But this time, magic number nine did the trick. You're used to hearing Republicans supporting Keystone. It really is about building an energy future uh, for this country. But it's the Democrats who moved the bill through Congress. We couldn't pass the bill without Democrats. Senator Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota has been one of the strongest supporters of the pipeline, Democrat or Republican. This is not a partisan issue. This is a bipartisan issue. It was her job to bring over her fellow Dems, many of whom had concerns about Keystone and the environment. I didn't feel like I was fighting a partisan battle as much as I felt like I was uh, trying to fight this notion that that this has something to do with carbon. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia says he crossed party lines because the bill makes sense for America. Why wouldn't you buy from the best trading party you have and your best ally and your best friend? We already buy an awful lot from, from Canada already. The senators, along with Senator Joe Donnelly of Indiana, agreed that national security is an important reason for the pipeline. Now that the bill has passed, the senator said in a statement that he hopes, quote, President Obama will sign this legislation into law to end the long delay and move this important project forward. While both Senators Heitkamp and Manchin acknowledge the president will likely veto the bill because he doesn't like how the process was handled, they hope he won't. We have a great piece of legislation. We would hope that the president would look at it on its merits. I want um, there to be agreement that the pipeline should move forward. From the Valley News Live Washington Bureau, I'm Alex Miller. This bill hasn't hit the president's desk just yet. It was approved last week, but Congress is likely waiting until its members return from recess to send it to the White House. Once the bill gets to the Oval Office, the president will have 10 days to sign it.